Okay, so as you can see, uh, let's see, they look, uh, well, they look used. They don't look uh, brand, brand new, but uh, it is good for a 24 years old calculator. All right, so let's see. I don't see any uh, corrosion just by looking at it. So that's a good sign. Okay, and there's no battery in it. And uh, I do not see any missing screws either. So that's also a good sign. Let me see if there is uh, a backup battery in here. Okay, so usually when you see a backup battery in here, oftentimes that means uh, uh, they've really never been into the, inside the calculator, you know, uh, in, from, from experience. Let's see. Well, I don't really need to put this back because I'm probably gonna open it up anyways. So what I like to do is, uh, I always uh, like to get a calculator with a uh, working battery. As you can see, this one is working just fine because sometimes, it's not often, but sometimes a brand new set of battery uh, may be dead on arrival, especially if you get a, a cheap battery like these. But, uh, these are preferred for uh, these kind of calculators anyway, so because Texas Instruments don't really use uh, that much battery, at least uh, the legacy ones like the 89 Voyage, 92, 92 Plus, 84, 83, etc. Okay. Okay, so no action. Oh, wait. <laughs> I'll be damned. So these were listed as parts. Hmm. Okay, uh, something and right. I believe this one has a problem with the display. Interesting. Okay, I think I'm probably gonna have to take back what I said earlier, saying that some some no one no nobody has probably been inside this. That may not be true after all. So let's see. At least uh, it turns on, so which is uh, a very positive thing, but. If you pay close attention, I don't have access to any of these functions, F2, F3, F4, and even F6, okay? And uh, you won't, okay. So about format, I don't have access to this either. And the display looks uh, a little bit crooked. It looks uh, a little bit slanted, okay? So about, and uh, this one is, uh, let's see, hardware revision one, no, nah, software one, but it does not say anything about the hardware revision, which I'm, um, I'm going to assume that, uh, okay, let's see really quick. I'm going to, hmm, this one is missing a lot of features actually. Or perhaps could it be that uh, this one is running uh, the software version one that it didn't have the computer algebra system, which I don't believe is the case because the 95, and I mean the 92 that came out in 1995 had all that features. So yeah, this one is probably just uh, corrupted somehow. So let me go ahead and do a simple factory set, see if that's gonna make anything different. Okay, it's gonna be all reset. Okay, uh, that was fairly quick. Okay, so with uh, just a factory reset, I'm able to have access to all these and that didn't take any and uh, that didn't take long at all it's very interesting so but I'm still concerned about the fact that the display looks uh, crooked to show you what I'm talking about uh, let me grab another 89 really quick okay this is another working 89 that I have and uh, let's see as you can see uh, the display on the one on, on my right side is uh, more symmetrical compared to the one uh, on the left. It looks uh, crooked. Huh, so I'm going to have to open it up and see what's going on. This might be maybe uh, the person who was inside of this. I don't know if someone, someone has ever been to this, but I would think so. But uh, let's take a look at it. Okay, let me set this aside for now. I'm gonna work my way into the calculator to do that. Use a pry tool. Uh, this is the one I have right now. And uh, 
once you are slightly inside the calculator, just press it down. Actually, this way. Okay, just press it down this way gently. I hope I didn't break anything. And uh, from there, you can just uh, open it quite easily. And this is the bottom part, and this is where you have all your component. So the battery does, uh, the battery terminals don't have any uh, uh, corrosion, which is a, a great thing. If I lift this up a little bit, let's see why the display looks crooked. Hmm. Uh, just by looking at it, uh, there really isn't anything bad about it. But what I'm gonna do is, uh, I don't know, the display seems to be uh, in good shape. I'm not supposed to remove this, but uh, these are the display uh, connectors. So this probably take care of uh, the vertical lines, and this one is going to be the original uh, pixels. So everything looks okay. I don't see any, not see any corrosion, any broken uh, connection. To be honest, before I even go ahead and, uh, and take this apart, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a software update because that might just be the problem. This is the first time I've had a TI-89 uh, with uh, a very first uh, software. This is a uh, software version one and uh, all my other calculator, when I got them, they had either 2.5, 2.9, you know, uh, but nothing like version one. And version one does not have a lot of features. So before I even uh, go further into uh, this calculator, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, do a software update. That's going to take me a while. I'm not gonna have this in this video, so I'm gonna do that in the background. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back, and unfortunately, the update is taking uh, uh, way longer than uh, I had anticipated. And uh, I'm even having second thought to whether or not the update is going to fix uh, the uh, screen uh, problem. So, in the meantime, I am going to take a look at the second one right here. So let's just make sure I put this uh, stuff aside. So that one is uh, definitely not coming on. So that is not good. But, uh, let's go and see uh, what's going on and what we can do about it. And unfortunately, I don't have any uh, 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 any uh, soldering tool or my needles to check uh, if this one is getting uh, any uh, if there is a power problem like uh, if there is a current draw that is uh, that exceeds the limit uh, it's not getting enough enough currents so yeah I really wouldn't know so that might be for a different video once I get uh, I get my tools so that is that so all I'm doing is is relatively very simple you know just uh, pretty much just uh, installing the battery and if it doesn't work, i uh, open it up and see if there's uh, any corrosion. And if there's no corrosion, then I'm just gonna uh, put this aside until I get my, my other tools to test it. And if there's, there's any soldering that needs to be done, then uh, uh, we'll see what we can do. Okay, I see some corrosion, but it's not, it's not that, it's not that bad. Sometimes what, what, what also happens is that, uh, you see these, uh, uh, connectors right here, they may not, uh, come into contact with, uh, these, uh, these terminals, so that may prevent the calculator from booting up. But I'm just going to clean this up a little bit. First thing I'm going to do, uh, I'm gonna try and see if I can uh, change where this thing sits. So this is, it's not possible to see it behind the camera, but uh, I'm just gonna try and uh, pull it over here slightly. Rest it, okay. So hopefully this uh, does it. Okay, so apparently that was the only issue with it. So it was just uh, that corrosion you saw. It was just uh, that uh, the battery was not getting the power due to that corrosion. 
and I believe they actually did this on purpose because they didn't want people to use this forever. I guess it kind of makes sense for business, but it doesn't make sense for con consumers like myself. Okay, so this one seems to be really good. The display is symmetrical. So let's go and uh, increase the brightness so it can be more legible. And uh, let's see the version of this one. Yeah, this is the second hardware revision. You can tell because of the clock. The first revision did not have uh, the clock. And this one is, is running the latest firmware as well. So I don't really have to do anything else to this. All right. So now that that is done, I am just going to uh, clean it up a little bit. Okay. So I'm just going to turn this off and uh, remove this back cover once again. The only thing I did was uh, to bend this a little bit. As you can see, to bend this a little bit so it wouldn't sit on this corrosion uh, part right here. As you can see, that's how it would normally sit. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get some, uh, uh, some swab and uh, put a little bit of water on it and uh, just uh, try to clean this up as much as I can. I unfortunately bumped into the camera, stopping the recording right before I started cleaning. So I missed uh, that whole portion. Now it's time to see if uh, the first one is, uh, is, is done. Let's, let me go ahead and check the computer. Okay, so I was uh, able to uh, update the uh, software. As you can see, it is running the latest software and this is also uh, the first revision, hardware revision one. So that means it doesn't have uh, uh, the clock feature here. but just as I thought, that did not fix the display issue. It is still crooked up top, so I'm gonna have to open it up <laughs> and I'll see if I can adjust it manually. So I don't know, I, I don't think I could, but I mean, it's worth giving it a try. I haven't uh, fully closed the calculator, so I can simply just uh, open it up. And this thing is working perfectly, so yeah, I guess it is still usable. It's just, uh, it just doesn't look right, as you can see. But uh, yeah, let's give that a shot. I just need to remove uh, these screws, one, two, and then uh, you have four more up here. So once I remove that, I will see if I can adjust it. This took a really long time. It took almost maybe uh, close to an hour because I had to uh, do the software update twice. The first time it failed for some reason. Uh, these calculators are really finicky when it comes to uh, 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 using them uh, uh, on a computer, they are really, really finicky. It does not work all the time. It's like a hit and miss. So yeah, there's that. Especially with software update, when it comes to just uh, transferring data, it's fine, but for the software, it's, uh, it's really pain. And I also try to uh, do the software update using a different TI calculator. You know, uh, you can technically connect two calculators and do a software update but uh, since this was the very first uh, OS uh, version, it did not have that feature. So I couldn't do it. Okay, remember you don't want the keys to spill, so make sure you take it off face, face and down. Okay, so yeah. So this is a little crooked, so I guess I could technically just push it down, but it's not that easy because it is glued to the motherboard. Okay, so I gotta be really careful with this because I can easily, the display on this thing is really fragile. I can very easily break it and I definitely don't want that to happen after spending that much time working on this. Okay, this is coming off already, but uh, that's not a big deal. Uh, we can just uh, put it back. It's just there to protect this component because this thing is really fragile. Okay, so... Uh, Okay, let me just, let me worry about this later on. Uh, so now, as you can see, this is not perfectly uh, set on this, so I would technically just need to push it down a little bit. But that's going to be tricky because, yeah. Man, I got to be really careful. I, I could heat it up just a little bit. I think the smart move would to would be to just, just, li uh, just leave this as is. Because if I damage this uh, display, there's no way I can get it back. But, uh, man, what the heck? Let's give it a try anyways. Okay, let me just uh, put this aside, just to make sure I don't mess things up. Mm, how could I even do this? I would certainly need uh, a plastic tool. I don't want to have a, 
I don't want to put any metal on this, so let's see if I can, uh, you, know, you know what, let me just use my fingers and see if, what I can do. This is just not going anywhere because you see this cable, if this cable breaks then uh, I'm out of luck. And uh, in order for the display to be symmetrical, I just need to push this down a little bit. And there is this cable here, which is not really, which is pretty stretch. I don't really know. I'm out of, uh, I'm out of ideas. It's not that big of a deal, really. But uh, yeah, uh, I'm just gonna leave this as is. Uh, if you have any questions, just uh, make sure you put it in the comment section. But the good thing is both calculators are working perfectly fine, and they have, pro they probably have a couple more years into them. So yeah, that is that. I got a really good deal. So yeah.